Austin would be finishing up his sophomore year next week here at Wayne High School, but he's not the only one not getting the chance to do so. It's heartbreaking to know that I wake up every day now knowing that he's not there. It's very painful. Two families broken tonight. I seen my brother get out of the car and I made sure he was okay. Madison's brother was alive, but he was driving and is now behind bars. And then I slammed on my brakes. I got out of the car, started running, screaming, hollering. Then there's the family of the 16 year old killed. Austin Abshire lived with his grandma Gates. It's just an interesting, very caring, very lovable grandson. Madison's brother didn't have a license. He thought it would be okay to drive. Uh, the girl who was driving initially was falling asleep while she was driving, so they pulled over and thought, hey, I'm okay, I'm, I'm awake, I'll drive. But... It was a bad decision he made. Now the pact of teens who calls themselves the squad are saying their goodbyes to not just one, but two of their friends. And they say Austin will always be the light in their lives. He got in the car, which he shouldn't have got in. Now this crash happened in front of Fairmont High School in Kettering. I'm told that the teen driver doesn't even know that he killed his best friend yet, and he could be facing more charges. Reporting in Huber Heights, Nicole Grigg, ABC 22 News.